spag bol chips versus cooked spag bol. Will the chip flavor live up to its name? Da da da. Bloopers at the end. Welcome to my second try at Tuesday, attempted in two minutes so I can practice how to embarrass myself weekly. I promised myself I would do this every week to get in the habit of filming, editing and uploading a video, even if it was something small on a regular basis. And because I haven't planned or done any batch filming or anything like that, I'm not very well prepared. So I'm pretty much just winging it on the spot. So, you know, bear with me while I practice being less shit. <laughs> I meant to say settle in, shouldn't swear. So I have my spag bol chips. I have my bowl of spag bol. Confession, I did cook it, but it was in the freezer and I microwaved it. I just want to let you know my prediction, which I don't think it's gonna taste like spag bol. I'm gonna taste the chips first before I delve into the real stuff, but I also wanted to smell it because I don't know, sometimes I can tell you something. Okay, it actually smells a little meaty. I don't think I've smelled chips that smell like this before. I'm not saying that means they're gonna taste like spag bol, but I'm just, I, I can't stop smelling it. Quite herby, you can see the flavorings on top. Maybe. Oh, okay. It's got a little like a meaty aftertaste going on, which I was surprised at. Let me try a few more and I'll cut to it to see if like the flavor builds. Okay. It actually has a meaty flavor. I'm not saying it's spot on spag bowl, but it's not bad. I'm just gonna taste a little spoonful of my actual spag bowl. I have some regret over the quality of the microwaving, but anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the chips do a much better um, impersonation <laughs> of spag bowl than I thought. But when you have some of this bag ball and then you chase it with a chip. Mind you, I know what you're gonna say. You've already got this bag ball taste in your mouth. Chips have their own thing going on. You know when Gordon Ramsay does like a blind taste test challenge? If someone had a blindfold on and they guessed this, like as spag ball flavored chips, I would be super impressed. I don't think it would happen. I think the most you'd get is it has a meaty flavor to it. Maybe that's how you tell. Like last week I had Reese's peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. Even if you didn't know it was Reese's, you would pick the peanut butter and the chocolate separately miles away from each other. So tastes nice, tastes meaty. If I had a blindfold on, I'm not saying that I could taste spag bol, but worth a chomp. If I'm worth a couple minutes of your time each week, to watch something random and some idiot practice YouTube, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell thing and it, and it, and it, will, it will ring when I do a try at Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Stick around. Try it Tuesday. Tuesday, choo choo choo. So I can practice on a Praculus. <laughs> God damn it. Pracula. <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> I think the proof would come in the pudding. Come in the pudding.